Welcome learners to Form 3 Mathematics. Today I would like us to look at this question here, add a binomial expansion, Form 3 work. So we are told x squared 1 minus 2x, all these learner raised to 4. Hence, use your expansion to estimate the value of 0 0.98 raised to 4, correct to 4 significant figures. Binomial expansion learn. So, the first thing is to expand the binomial. 1 minus 2x raised to the power 4 is equal to what learner? How do you go about this? So, the first thing is to, uh, to know that this is the first term, 1, and the second term is negative uh, 2x. The first term is this, and the other part of term is negative 2x. So, you first deal with the first term. You talk of 1 raised to the highest power here, which is 4, to power 4, all the power which is there. Then, you move on with this power, and you make it uh, smaller, all the way up to 0. You go reducing the power towards the right all the way up to the first term raised to 0. So 1 raised to 4, 1 raised to 3, 1 raised to 2, maybe I can write here, 1 raised to 1, and finally 1 raised to 0. So you start with this power, you go decreasing the power by 1 all the way up to power 0. Then, you take your second term, negative 2x, Lana. You come and multiply with it here. Negative 2x. You raise it to power what? It starts from power 0, Lana, 0. And it increases, you increase the power by 1 up to the highest power, which is 4. So, negative 2x raised to 0 times negative 2x raised to 1. Negative 2x lana raised to 2, negative 2x, I hope you can see this, negative 2x lana raised to power 3, and finally negative 2x in brackets lana raised to 4. Make sure you put this negative 2x in brackets as you raise it to the power. So the second term here, it starts with the power 0, and the power increases by 1 all the way up to the highest power, which is 4. From there, Lana, you come and fix your coefficients. You go to the mathematical table, you get your coefficients. The coefficients here are normally 1. I can write 1 times that. That dot to represent multiplication. The coefficient here is 4. The coefficient here from the Pascal's triangle learner is 6. The coefficient here is 4. And finally, the coefficient here is 1. All this means multiplication, multiplying those dots there. So from there, learner, the next thing is to add your terms. That plus that plus that plus that. Those are five terms. One, two, three, four, five terms. From there, Lana, you simplify your terms. Simplify the terms. This is one times one raised to four. Negative two x raised to zero. This is one. One raised to any power, Lana. One raised to any power is still one. Then any number raised to zero, we know that from indices, that any number raised to zero, Lana, is what? One. So this term here becomes one times one times one. I hope you can see this. So one times one times one, Lana, is one. So our first term is one. We go to the second term here, Lana. We have four. One raised to three is one. Then negative two x raised to uh, one. Negative 2x raised to 1. Maybe you can first deal with the negative here, Lana, because it affects, sometimes it affects this positive. Negative raised to power 1, Lana, is negative. Negative raised to power 1 
becomes negative. So the whole of this term learner will become negative. Then negative followed up, I mean positive followed by negative will be negative. So the sign here therefore will be negative. And so you talk of this is four. Four times one is four. Then the rest here, two x, you can write it like that. Are we together? Then we go to the second line. First deal with this negative. Negative squared is what learner look at this negative times negative this is what i'm calling negative squared gives us what positive you remember negative times negative gives us positive so negative squared learn is positive so the whole of this term will be positive so this positive followed by the positive learner we know that it becomes positive positive followed by positive is positive then you now bring things together here. This is 6 times 1, which is 6. Write it here, 6. Then, here you are left with 2x. You square it. We are going step by step so that we don't make mistakes. We go to the fourth term here, Lana. This is 4 times 1, which is 4. And here you have negative, which is cubed. Negative cubed Lana is negative. Negative cubed, maybe I can write here, negative times negative times negative. Negative, these two are node power. A node power learner is normally negative. Negative times negative is positive. Then positive side times negative gives us negative finally. So negative raised to any odd power learner gives us negative. So negative cubed is negative. So the whole of that term will be negative. Positive followed by negative gives us negative. Then you now come and write 4 times 1, which is 4. Then you take your 2x, you cube it. You better move slowly for you to not to make an error. Then we come to the fourth one here. Again, we look at negative raised to power 4. Negative learner raised to an even power, go and practice on this, will always give you a positive. Negative raised to an even power gives us a positive. So positive followed by positive here, the whole term becomes positive. Okay? Then we have 2x therefore. Look at this line. 2x raised to 4. And there you are. You have simplified your terms. Then you now come to the next step. You talk of 1 minus. This is 4. 4 times 2x gives us 8x. Look at that learner. Here you can see this is plus 6. You can first square this. 2x squared gives us 4x squared. You can write like that. You move on. You talk of 4. 2x cubed. 2 cubed is 8. So 8x cubed. Put it like that. Then you come to the last one here. You talk of 2x raised to 4. 2 raised to 4 is 16. And therefore x raised to 4. Simplify this further. You talk of 1 minus 8x lana. I hope you're together. Plus 6 times 4x squared gives us 24x squared. Look at that lana. Minus what? 4 times 8x cubed will give you 32x raised to 3 and finally plus 16x raised to 4. And this is our expansion lana. You better move slowly step by step so that you don't make an error. From there, learner, what are we told? We are told to estimate 0 0.98. Using this expansion, you approximate the value of 0 0.98 raised to 4 correct to 4 decimal places. So the first thing that you do, learner, is to come and write this binomial like that. It was like that. You equate it to what you want to evaluate. You equate it to 0 0.98 raised to 4. The powers are the same, so it's like they cancel out. So it's a matter of equating. Equate what is inside the bracket, Lana, like that. Equate what is inside the bracket. So from here, take this one to the other side, so you are left with Negative 2x is equals to 0 0.98 lana minus 1 
this becomes negative once you take it to the other side. So here you're left with that is equals to subtracting this, you'll get negative 0 0.02. Negatives can cancel out, they are on both sides. Then you divide by 2, uh, sorry, by 2, and here you also divide by 2. So learn, you will see that x is equals to 0 0.1. Your x is 0 0.1. What do you do with this x point uh, zero, uh, zero point zero one lana? You come and fix it in this binomial. Do you see it, lana? I hope you can see it. So you come and fix the x here, and therefore you talk of zero point nine. Uh, sorry, zero point nine eight raised to four lana is equals to. You write your expansion here one minus 8, you fix your x, you substitute your x, plus 24, 0.01 raised to 2, minus 32, 0.01 lana raised to power 3, finally, plus what? Plus 16, 0.01 raised to 4, I hope you can see all that. Then from there, you now use a calculator, Lana. Use a calculator here. Fix all this in the calculator. And therefore, you'll get 0 0.9224. Correct to, this is correct to four significant figures. Correct to four significant figures. That will be your answer. So, Lana, go and practice on binomial expansion. They are normally tested in exams. Remember the first term takes the power and the power decreases all the way up to power zero. The second term you take it and you fix it in brackets. The power starts with zero, increases by one, like that, like that, all the way to the highest power which is four. Then you fix your coefficients and then you, re you simplify. You simplify the, the terms correctly. Then you find your x, which is uh, by quitting the two terms which are under the, the power there. And then you substitute them and finally you get your answer. God bless you. Good practice. Learning.